Now to find a way to distract her. An old the hat. hell? I didn't make this up. It's temperamental. And I'm the one if who I pays. understand correctly. What a pest. It's so unfair. Hey! I'm doing shit here, you mind? Elizabeth? You alright? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel, and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Fucking A. I gotta get the key. If it doesn't let me pick it up this time, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh my god. I had to wait for that specific room. moment to pick up the All key. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. I guess I needed a reason to pick up the key, because why would I pick it up if I didn't need to use it? Makes perfect logical sense. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Okay. Find a tool. Found it, monkey wrench. There we go, easy there. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Oh, go back to Elizabeth. Okay. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Oh, she's not here. At last. The missing files must be hidden here. In the desk! No, okay. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, okay, gotcha. I've unlocked something. Boom! Easy! Patient files. I was right. Conclusions, session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. This finger belonged to the a woman. To have Why keep it here? With the usual nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her sexual needs. Why is Ethan on medication? Hmm. 
Why indeed? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? First, I presumed that her blood was there. Abilities. Ah, right here. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Um, James, yes. I wait that Charles was keeping secrets from us. I presume this was the body of the wounded bank student sooner or later. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? The seer thinks that I had the presence of mind to set the morgue in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Of course, Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Everybody's a detective in this. I must go back to the basement. Detective, whatever the my girl's Stendhal name is. Syndrome. Of course, this is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. I have no idea who my character Maria Colden. Maria Colden. That right? I should go another way. Sure, 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 sure. Let's go. Freedom! Go into the psychiatric wing. Okay? Let us find the psychiatric wing. Where indeed? Actually, I think I know where it is. I think it's down and to the right here. Because we are going down. Oh no, we're going down underground to where uh, Sanders was killed. Oh, look, blood. Goody. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. 
All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. The book projected Pierce into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her, yeah, her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of, Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. The diary of Reverend w uh, Wickwood's wife. Her husband John built the first Hawkins home, called Hilltop. At the end of the 17th century, they were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. Old diary. The Scylla is here, like in the vision. Holden came this way. What the... Fuller, too. Look at this. Now we're here. How old is Fuller, really? He's a billion years old. Complete revelation. This collection of catalogs, uh, this collection catalogs the classified creatures that I had never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from a dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference to work on the bestiary of the myth, without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. Damn. My destiny changed again. Nope. I just felt like doing the up, the, you know, the other sides, just in case. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at all that. Oh. No. Uh, no. Ah. Oh. My God, what what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What happened? Something has changed, but what? What change? Okay. Well, what changed here? We're gonna have to figure it out, aren't we? We can't go that way or that way. Oh, it changes with the light. Where have I seen this symbol? Right here. Okay. It's this symbol right here, right? Yeah. Now we change the light. Yeah, okay. See, we need to use the other lamp. Got you. This lamp? This is the one it's showing us.
That symbol is right there, which leads us. That that's the one though. Wait a minute. This is lit. That other one's lit. I hear a creepy creature. I hear a creepy creature. Creepy creature. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Maybe the blue light was supposed to tell me what I'm supposed to look at. No, because it led right through the wall to here. See? So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. And then. No. I have no idea. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I just keep brightening it. No, I'm not that way. This way. But we can't get in there right now. Wait, what was that? Medicine and secrets, sciences. Nope, don't look at it. We don't want to go in there yet. Hmm. Go in. Where are we going? Where would we be going? Light. It's closed now. No. I'm kind of lost. Something over there we need. Maybe because I opened this door, I'm good. Let's try switching now. Yeah, look at that. See, we did it. And go through here. Destiny. Okay, we got it. It is trapped. Okay, this way, then right. Over one more. <sighs> Did 
We need to... Fucking dick! Really? Jump scared the shit out of me, you cock. Okay, I see where to go. I thought we killed that thing. Wait, wait. No? Okay. You are confronting powers that surpass you. 